EU Interior and Justice Ministers have agreed on a series of new anti-terrorism measures. They include tougher border security, gun control and surveillance. CCTV's Jack Barton brings us more from the emergency meeting in Brussels. The suspected gone. mastermind of the Paris attacks, Abdelhamid Abaoud, traveled undetected to Syria twice since 2013, returning to Europe with ease this year. On Friday, European interior and justice ministers unanimously backed France's call for a fundamental revision of the Schengen open border zone to allow systematic controls on external borders. Nous avons tous... We were all very affected by the events in Paris. It was not only France that was attacked, but Europe. The values of Europe were attacked, which is why we need a European response. Even EU citizens are expected to soon have their passports checked against criminal and security databases when entering or leaving the bloc. The crisis meeting began with a minute of silence to honor those killed and injured during the attack on Paris, carried out by Islamic State jihadists with ties to Syria and a planning cell based in Belgium. France's requests for other tough measures were also quickly agreed to. They included a crackdown on illegal weapon sales as well as gun smuggling across the European Union. New European rules allowing the collection and sharing of airline passenger data are also expected to be in place by the end of next month, a plan long stalled by the European Parliament over privacy concerns. But a proposal by the European Commission to establish a block-wide intelligence agency met with resistance. We should not concentrate our energy on creating a new European intelligence agency. I cannot imagine that we are ready to give up our national sovereignty. We should concentrate on the improvement of the exchange of information between existing institutions. That is the real security gain. European officials also discussed ways to cut off terrorist funding which could ultimately involve curbs on virtual currencies, including Bitcoin. Jack Barton, CCTV, Brussels.